The Bridge on the River Kwai is a movie made in 1957. It's about prisoners of war during World War II building a bridge in Burma for their Japanese captors. The movie shows the struggles of the prisoners and the clash between duty and morality. There are many interesting facts about this movie, like how the actors lost weight during filming because of the harsh conditions. Some scenes were also shot in Sri Lanka instead of Burma. Keep watching because we'll share more funny, shocking, and sad facts in this video. Do you have a personal story about how this movie has impacted you? Or maybe you know some lesser known facts about it. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your cherished memories with us. Madness is at the heart of the bridge on the River Kwai, a World War II epic that transcends the grand scope of the global conflict to focus on the intense battle of wills between two men. Set in a Japanese prison camp in the jungles of Thailand, the film portrays the clash between Colonel Nicholson, a British commanding officer who staunchly upholds principles, and Colonel Sato, the brutal camp commandant driven by his own agenda. Nicholson's unwavering adherence to rules clashes with Sato's determination to have a bridge built over the River Kwai, using British prisoners as laborers. As Nicholson resists, he finds himself confined in an iron box, while Sato faces the pressure of completing the bridge or facing shame and suicide. The tension between these two stubborn characters drives the narrative, with Alec Guinness delivering a remarkable performance as Nicholson, embodying both bravery and madness. While the storyline focusing on Nicholson and Sato captivates with its intensity, the parallel narrative involving William Holden's character Shears and his attempt to sabotage the bridge lacks the same engagement. Holden's performance is solid, but the story veers away from the compelling dynamic between Nicholson and Sato. Despite this diversion, the anticipation builds as the two plotlines converge, promising a climactic confrontation. Madness permeates every aspect of the film, from the character's actions to the harrowing conditions of the prison camp, creating a gripping and unforgettable cinematic experience. Embarking on a profound journey of self-discovery, an actor delved into the depths of his soul, profoundly shaping his beliefs and enriching his portrayal of a memorable character in a well-known film. Facing a significant challenge in his personal life, his son's battle with polio left a lasting impression, influencing his perspective and approach to life. Seeking solace and enlightenment, he found refuge in a monastery, immersing himself in its tranquil atmosphere and ultimately embracing Catholicism. In another part of the world, the impact of the movie extended far beyond the screen, earning recognition as one of the standout achievements of its time. Praised by cultural critics, the film resonated deeply with audiences transcending borders and connecting on a universal level through its compelling story and nuanced characters. With timeless themes of honor, sacrifice, and the complexity of humanity, the movie continues to engage viewers worldwide, serving as a reminder of the enduring power of storytelling. Crafted with meticulous attention to detail and brought to life by a talented cast, the film remains a masterclass in narrative excellence, sparking thought and discussion about morality and identity. In the realm of cinematic classics, its significance remains undiminished, a testament to its lasting impact through the years. Each viewing transports audiences to a world where courage and resilience prevail, leaving an indelible impression on the collective consciousness. Thus, the tale of resilience and redemption continues to inspire, offering profound insights into the human experience. In the world of film, some actors bring more than just their talent to the screen. They infuse their characters with personal experiences, making the story richer and more relatable. Take, for example, Jack Hawkins. He played a father torn between duty and personal sacrifice in a famous movie. This role resonated deeply with audiences because Hawkins himself understood the challenges of parenthood. Similarly, Andre Morrill faced health issues that mirrored those of his character, adding depth to his performance. Then there's William Holden, who not only grappled with adversities within the storyline, but also fought personal health battles off screen. His struggles with emphysema reminded viewers of life's fragility, giving his performance a poignant touch. These personal touches from the actors woven into the characters they played made the movie more authentic and emotionally resonant. In the end, it's these personal struggles and triumphs that make movies like this one stand out. They create a connection with the audience that lasts long after the film is over. It's through the lens of their own experiences that actors breathe life into their characters, making the story unforgettable. Alec Guinness, known for his role in the movie, has an interesting tidbit about his name. It's an anagram for genuine class, as mentioned in Lisa's Rival. Producer Sam Spiegel orchestrated the collaboration between Sir David Lean and Carl Foreman for the screenplay. 
The tension between them pleased Spiegel, who believed friction birthed the best screenplays. However, the tension escalated, leading to Foreman's departure from the project. Spiegel acquired a train from the Salinese government, previously owned by an Indian Maharaja and in service for 65 years. After refurbishing it completely, one mile of railway track was laid for the train. Alec Guinness found his role in Oliver Twist to be one of the most demanding in his career. He began work at 4.30 a.m. and often wrapped up around 9 p.m. Seshu Hayakawa, whose father had military roots, pursued a theatrical career despite his family background. He toured Europe studying classics before returning to Japan to perform works by Shakespeare and Ibsenator Andre Morrill starred in both The Bridge on the River Kwai and Ben-Hur, as did Jack Hawkins. These actors brought depth to their roles in both acclaimed films. During the filming of a famous movie in Tunisia, actor Alec Guinness, known for his long career, celebrated his 62nd birthday with the cast and crew. There were disagreements behind the scenes between the director and producer about how the movie should be made. The director wanted to focus on the characters and their relationships, while the producer preferred more action. Guinness wasn't just a movie actor, he also won awards for his work on stage. In 1964, he won a Tony Award for playing a famous poet. Guinness was good at entertaining people both on stage and on screen. His work continues to be remembered by audiences around the world, showing how much of an impact he made. It's often noted that William Holden seemed too old for his role in the film. In that sector, realistically, there shouldn't have been an American presence. Interestingly, Holden was initially slated for the lead in another movie, but ended up being replaced by Burt Lancaster. Jack Hawkins, in his will, left a modest sum due to high taxes and a decline in income after losing his voice in surgery. His family was provided for through a trust fund, with the family home going to his wife. This sheds light on the challenges faced by actors off-screen. Alec Guinness, a distinguished actor, felt surprised when asked to reprise his role of Herbert Pocket for the film adaptation of Great Expectations, having already performed it in the theater. His talent served as an inspiration for Sir John Hurt to pursue acting. Guinness, known for his baldness, once mentioned in a Time magazine cover story that he went bald on top early in his career after shaving his head for a role as a coolie, a decision that he later regretted as his hair never grew back properly. Despite his embarrassment, he chose not to wear a hairpiece in private life.